Hey guys, this is Getsumara, and welcome back to Let's Play Eternal Sonata. In the last episode, we entered the double read all the way across the sky, Tower of the Sand, and we went to the second floor where we got, um, I believe, a mace for Crescendo. Actually, no, no, no. This was a weapon for beat. However, in the 360 version, this item is on the third floor. Remember that. They changed it up in the PS3 version a little bit just to make room for um, stuff for Serenade Crescendo. However, a staff for uh, Serenade I missed is at the very beginning of the sand dunes, which I'll get on the way out. Yeah. And here, look, I leveled up a bunch because I was bored. I found a good place to grind in here and I grinded a crap ton. Look at this. The six characters I'll probably only use are now good levels 56, 55, 54, 55, 54. Well, like, I want to use Falsetto or Viola instead of Jazz, but for now, um, he's staying in the group because I'm going to show off Geoblade, which looks amazing. If you liked Heatblade, you're going to love Geoblade. Also, um, Chopin just got more amazing. Try Clementia, or Clementia. It is, what's it called? It is the uh, uh, Spirit's Pathway, but heals everybody. It's like... Blossom Shower, but does not take forever. It's like Earth Heal, but better. It's amazing. This is why he's pretty much my healer temporarily. I say temporarily because, well, I, there's a good. He's good to have, but also it's bad to have three melee because if you get hit in the back by an AOE attack, they're all gonna suffer. And um, cool. He's in the dark. I can actually show off Jewel Blade. Oh, wait, he's not. Uh, so watch, try Clementia. Look at that heal. Look at that. Amazing. Okay. Don't leave the dark. Don't leave the dark. Don't leave the dark. Oh, and I recently discovered something. I'm apparently really good at counterattacks and um Sorry, I had to show that off because it looks amazing and badass. Yeah, like uh in Tony level six, I've been like really good with uh counterattacks. Oh, I have no idea why. I'll, You're not like, gonna beat me. I don't. Know, as I said, um, with a uh, party level six, when you do a harmony chain, it sometimes changes up your buttons. Like attack could be triangle, like and that stuff. Ah, I didn't want to fight them. I'm too high a level. It's really cool because you can do six chains, but it takes a lot of time to get used to. But it's not that bad. It's good because it's an extremely higher pace of damage, which is almost really needed at that point. Because if you play Encore mode, it is almost a requirement. Because everything is like almost two times strong. Or HP, or defense. And yes, I have over 100,000. I'm rich, and I pretty much have no use for items anymore. So, well, let's uh, go along the double read tower. Actually, I want to bring Falsetto back in. First, let's take off your items, because, well, those are Falsetto's items, which makes her extremely fast. Even before that, I think I've outlined she's the fastest person in the party. Like right now, he's only similar to Reto because honestly, he's got the 10%. And Crescendo's actually pretty fast, I didn't know he was that fast. Normally he doesn't seem like it, but he's actually pretty good. Where is my box? There we go. And then you go right here. Actually, did you learn anything new? Oh, that's right, she learned something. Death Chasm, it is the Shadow Beam of Dark. It's bad, I hate Shadow Beam, it's not that good. It's fast, but its damage is. Ah, god damn it, I don't want to fight these guys. They're so fat, but they're fast. It's because he's a garlic dead beat dad. And that hurt. Le leave falls. Okay, actually, no, that's good. You're gonna die, buddy. Yeah. I've hit 37 uh, attacks in one turn. There. We're, we're going to Harmony Train right now. Look at that, I almost got 32. She's absolute destruction. There's Death Cat. See, it's not that good. Well, it, the damage is alright, but I, I just don't like it. And I'll have While Chopin is allowed to kill you with Phantom Pain. God, I did one Harmony Chain out when I was grinding. It was absolute destruction. It, oh god, I think I did 600,000 damage. The boss I was fighting had absolutely no chance. He was dead. Like, well, I don't know if it's a he. It could be a she for all I know. But it was, it was done. It had no chance. 
All right, sorry, I'm, I forgot where the chests are. This is what happens when you play two different versions of the game twice. The chests move, and you have no idea where they are. You have like the faintest idea, but they're always not there. Oh yeah, there's a save point. It's that's kind of telling you that's like the in between, like of uh, there's two bosses on each tower on each side. That's kind of like the halfway in between the uh, two bosses. At least that's what I use as a reference for. Hey, look at that. So easy to get 24 plus in the harmony chain. Too bad there's nobody in melee range, so all we're really gonna get out of it is heal maybe. Each five elements you up. I never once topped off, and I think I killed two of them. Oh no, I only killed one. Oh well, they're weak. Now that we're doing this, I could talk about my life. Well, things are looking up a little bit. Someone got fired for competition. Surprise, surprise! So I get more hours, only temporarily, probably, and it starts next week. So I still got like two more days off this week, which I'm gonna use to record and grind because it's fun. But yeah, I like it. Although I had to go in the uh, to do a repair in the morning yesterday to fix up what he did. He fucked up putting in some drywall, and it was crooked, like a whole wall crooked. If you look at it, you can absolutely tell. I think he probably just didn't give a shit anymore at that point. Just bad. Uh, avoid the garlic, Dad, because I want the chest. But like, I, I was really nice though. I think she like called me like right off, right after work, like nine o'clock. Cause you know, I've never, that's probably the first time I've ever got a call about a complaint or something at that time. All I can really tell them, like, if you want to complain, honestly, do it in the morning, cause nothing's gonna happen if you do it at night, but however, I can go in the morning and fix it up. And do the cleanup, cause, really, leaving all that shit behind for them, that's just bad. That's horrible. And pretty much that was as good as the third strike, cause, well, it's not a three strikes and you're out rule, but, depending on how much you fuck up, you'll, like, lose your job. Yep. Yeah. Uh. Nope, do not want to fight the garlic dad. Leave me alone. Alright, and let's take you up to the sixth floor. You see that um abyss thing over there? There's three of them. It gives you 27,000 experience. It is absolute heaven for this place. All I did was grind there. I'd go in, out, in, out, fight it, leave, fight it, leave, fight it, leave. And that's how I leveled up so fast. The experience was just heavenly. Like, I'm not going to fight this one because I don't need to. But I'll show off that one just because it's awesome. And also because it'll give me a level up, which is beside the point. So we go down and we fight it. Because we want to kick its butt. Although I don't think it has a butt. Give me like, um. Dare to turn your sword to me? Uh, some sculpting materials. I'll, I'll give it one. And I'll put a hole so I can shove my. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna go there. So I can mount it like a lion there. Yeah, that's extreme, these things are extremely easy, and there's three of them. Well, they're only extremely easy if you can do uh, When they're in the dark, they become the big dragons, which suck, because they hit hard. And they're actually kind of fast runners, which is kind of bad. They can put the chase on you real good. Look at Oh yeah, 27,000 experience. I'll settle levels up. I'll let my fists do the talking. Attack's getting up there, but it's nothing on like Redo. Redo's got a lot of attack. Then again, he has the attack ring. I wish I did the side quest. I'd have two of these, and it'd be amazing. Because honestly, I'd probably give them both to Redo. Although I really like the increase of his speed. It's good because he gets a turn faster than that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot the chest. God, look at. I don't want to fight you again. I do not want to fight you again. Oh, yeah, you can actually cut over these things. I didn't know that. I always thought they were like walls. You gotta walk around them. And we get the Storm Shroud. This thing is awesome. Let me show you it. Increases movement speed in battle. If you could give this to Falsetto, she could destroy. She'd be so fast, it would be ridiculous. Like, oh my god. However, we're gonna give it to Reddo. So he'll just be that much more faster. Sure, he loses three attack, but he's practically on par with Falsetto now. It's good to have two really fast party members that are in melee. Because they can uh, get the beat on someone real quick and just catch them up. Especially with, um, towards like the last while of the game, the arena's been really big and it's been really spacious, which is fun and cool, but also annoying. And we're on the seventh floor. The seventh floor is where the bosses are, and there's one on this side, so well, 
We could save it now. Actually, let me check my item set. Did I use anything while I was grinding? Oh, I did. Uh, what nice little trucks do I got? Okay, um... Did I? I'm pretty sure I bought some items, didn't I? Uh, I did. So let's screw this, screw this. Perfect. There we go, and... Honey cookie. And... Let's go, um... There we go. It's set. Let's destroy this thing. I think this is, uh, what monster- Oh, it's this thing. Remember Fort Fermata? Well, we gotta fight it again. <clears throat> I swear that thing's a jackal or something. I hated those things attack me both front and back. And we got a boss battle, so cue the awesome music. So, how about we go around? Oh, oh, that was bad. What? Yeah, that was a bad start, not what I wanted. Well, Harmony Chain. Maybe. 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 There we go. Harmony Chain. Anything that gets in my way is going down. Oh, I gotta bring Veal and I gotta show off the moves he got because I love it. Oh yeah, there's Triclementia. Now we're back off to being topped off. I used Starlight Blast because it, it gets me back 8 Echo, so it's pretty much back to square one end. This is gonna hurt because I have Reto's back showing. And you just know he's gonna be back to that. Oh. No, instead he stomps and holy crap, that hit hard. Well, I could have counter attacked him. But, oh, this is gonna hurt. Everyone's in range. Okay. Well, one more turn to beat on him. Then it. Ready to echo Starlight Blast? That hurt. Sun. Blast. And, and, and. Oh, not Death Chasm. Why did it have to be that one? There was like three other attacks that could have been like better. Well, that was a waste. There's two people whose back you could have hit. But I'm not gonna tell you how to fail, buddy. Of course he felt Oh, he's in the shadow, that's right, okay. Yeah, Falsetto is just that awesome. Pretty much harmony chain every time she gets a turn. And with party level 6, it's practically guaranteed to be 32 echoes. Yeah, this thing's almost dead. These things are no challenge at all with how much I grinded. And also the fact that uh, I've got a pretty good party member set up. Yes, and Chopin gets a level up. Nice. Strength that all can see. I'm not sure. If, uh, not so sure if everyone can see it, but you know, I'm gonna float your boat. And incoming cutscene. Shit! Oh god! I hope it just doesn't carry over. Oh crap! question uh yes it's been bugging me for a while now why do you two have to look so depressed all the time i mean we're on our way to tangle with count waltz your mopey faces are just gonna bring down morale oh i'm sorry that's it that's the face <sighs> allegretto's never gonna be able to concentrate on fighting because he'll be too busy worrying about you Viola, be serious. <laughs> there you go. Good girl. That's more like it. Now, what are we going to do about you? What in the world are you thinking about all the time that gives you such a gloomy expression? Well, if you really must know. Just now, I was wondering what will become of my existence within this imaginary world once the dream I'm having comes to an end. Oh, brother, what are you talking about? When you wake up from a dream, you just open your eyes and start a new day. You should spend more time thinking about what you're going to do in reality, not in dreams. I mean, there's a ton of stuff that needs to get done. So reality is wherever you are when you open your eyes? You may have a point there. 
And if it's a dream that you really don't want to forget about, you can just write it down as soon as you wake up, right? And you're a composer, so you could even put it to music. The music of an unforgettable dream. Think about it, Frederick. Wouldn't that be wonderful? All right, so are we clear on this moping thing? Don't go trying to keep all your problems to yourselves. Sorry, 